Was I the new queen bee? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 teen movie stars of the 2000s. Thank you, for this list, we'll be looking at those big screen dominating celebrities who were either teens themselves or appealed to that demographic and made a big impact on the film industry in the first decade of this century. Which teen movie star did you idolize in the 2000s? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Kristen Stewart Long before she was walking the red carpet at the Oscars, Kristen Stewart was breaking onto the scene in a big way. As an indie darling, Kristen started her film career in the early 2000s, with a few smaller parts before landing the role as Jodie Foster's daughter in the 2002 thriller Panic Room. That war's code? SOS. Where'd you learn that? Titanic. For three consecutive years from 2003 to 2005, and then again in 2008, Kristen even received nominations at the Young Artist Awards. However, Kristen is best known for helping to usher in the vampire craze with her blockbuster teen film Twilight. So the mind fell in love with the lamb. What a stupid lamb. You sick, masochistic lion. In bringing Bella Swan from book to screen, Kristen became a movie star. While many stars were made from Twilight, Kristen can thank the saga for making her a household name. But I never felt more alive. I was born to be a vampire. Number 9. Hayden Panettiere While she was dabbling in a singing career and breaking out into TV, Hayden Panettiere was making her mark on the film industry. She started off the 2000s with a few minor parts in Disney flicks, culminating in her role as Jen in Ice Princess. I want to stop missing school. I like school. And you know what? It's stupid. And the band will probably be horrible, but you know what I want? I want to go to the homecoming dance. But we would be remiss if we didn't mention her part in the beloved cheerleading film series Bring It On. While it functioned more as a standalone film than a sequel to the original, Hayden gave us an iconic performance in Bring It On All or Nothing. Brittany, cheers! <laughs> what was that? Spirit fingers. <laughs> Everybody does spirit fingers. Like her predecessors, Hayden had every 2000s girl wanting to be a cheerleader. And of course, we can never forget her attempt at crumping, no matter how cringeworthy it may be. <laughs> Number 8. Miley Cyrus Can anyone honestly say that they weren't a Miley Cyrus fan in the 2000s? Once she appeared on our screens as a teen girl with a double life, we were hooked. Fans loved hearing the star lend her voice to the 2008 animated Disney feature, Bolt. Well, what do we have here? Your old buddy, Mr. Carrot! Miley even sang and co-wrote a track for the film, which was nominated for a Golden Globe. However, it was the 2009 Hannah Montana the movie that marked a maturing point for both Miley Cyrus and her fictional pop star counterpart. Well, I know the getting here was hard, but what you're doing is a good thing. You should be proud of that. I know I am. It was followed shortly by Miley's appearance in the Nicholas Sparks drama The Last Song, alongside future ex-husband Liam Hemsworth. While it wasn't a huge critical success, the role was certainly a hit among fans. Come on, I'm just practicing Southern hospitality. Oh really? Is that what they go hitting on strangers now? You know what? I have no interest in buying you a shirt. Is that so? I'm just over here so the other team can catch a breath. Number 7. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who hasn't heard of Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. You got it, Dad. <laughs> I told you, you got it, dude. <laughs> These talented twins won over many in their role as Michelle Tanner in Full House. But it wasn't until the 2000s that they really showed off their acting skills in a series of films geared toward teens. Since when does she know how to surf? Since this scene, apparently. Between 2000 and 2004 alone, the twins appeared in a whopping eight films. Despite most of their films being direct to video, they influenced 2000s tweens with their enviable fashion in films like Our Lips Are Sealed and Holiday in the Sun. While their 2004 film, New York Minute, was considered a box office flop, 
It has been designated by many as a cult classic, and we can't deny that it gave us numerous iconic scenes. Is today my birthday? <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, we're just leaving. Number six, Mandy Moore. In the earliest years of the decade, Mandy Moore worked to make herself a huge name in teen dramas and comedies alike. It's a, a to-do list I have, except for my life. What, like getting a new personality? Mm, spend a year in the Peace Corps, make a medical discovery. That's ambitious. Be in two places at once, get a tattoo. In 2001, following a small voiceover role, Mandy made her on-screen debut as the antagonistic mean girl, Lana Thomas, to Anne Hathaway's Mia Thermopolis. From there, Mandy went on to star in a number of iconic roles that shaped the 2000s. From the warm-hearted Jamie Sullivan to the self-righteous Hilary Faye, Mandy showed off her range as well as her ability to create a memorable character. I am filled with Christ's love. God, you are just jealous of my success in the Lord. For millennials and Gen Z alike, there's few scenes quite as influential to pop culture as Lana Thomas getting an ice cream cone smashed into her cheerleading uniform. Mrs. Gupta, did you see what she did to me? Oh, no, honey, I'm sorry. I was in a very important meeting. Send it out for dry cleaning. Number five, Chad Michael Murray. As far as teen crushes went, Chad Michael Murray ranked high on just about everyone's list. In his many portrayals, he proved himself to be the quintessential 2000s heartthrob. I live in a world full of people pretending to be something they're not. But when I talk to you, I'm the guy I want to be. Give me a chance to be that guy. While he was featured in smaller roles and even starred in the 2005 slasher House of Wax, it was Chad's teen rom-com roles that made him a big name. Playing the romantic lead alongside two of Hollywood's biggest it girls of the decade, Chad was able to play two very different but equally swoon-worthy characters. I, I know it's unconventional, okay? And I know nothing can happen. I'm not stupid. I just I want to know her, you know, I want to be able to talk to her. By the mid-2000s, he cemented himself as a teen icon and even earned himself two Teen Choice Movie Awards. There's no one else we would want to kiss in the rain in the middle of a football game. I'm sorry I waited for the rain. It's okay. Number 4. Zac Efron When Zac Efron was cast in High School Musical, a million people fell in love. With a childhood background in musical theater, Zac was practically born to sing, dance, and act his way into our hearts. After being dubbed by Drew Seeley in High School Musical, Zac proved his musical chops, as well as his ability to handle more mature subject matter in the 2007 remake of Hairspray. He closed off the decade, honing his comedic skills in the comedy Seventeen again, which introduced Zac to an adult audience. On top of his incredible performances, we have to give Zac props for inspiring Bet On It to become a meme over 10 years later. We're tempted to break out into dance every time we see a golf course. Am I the type of guy who means what I say? Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it. Number 3. Amanda Bynes. If there's one actor from the noughties we can place above the rest in terms of comedic timing, it has to be Amanda Bynes. Be a girl for five seconds, huh? For five seconds? Okay, um, first of all, it's not a stupid soccer issue, and you're a jerk. Oh, look at that! Time's up! Starring in her own sketch comedy show, Amanda proved to audiences that she could make you laugh despite her age. Whether she was breaking gender norms on the soccer field or causing trouble among the English elite, Amanda had audiences in stitches. Just thinking. How I nearly wiped out the entire royal family. Actually, I think they rather enjoyed it. 2000s teens admired Amanda's girl next door personality, perfect sense of humor, and enviable style. When we thought she couldn't be more talented, she showed that she could hold her own in a musical role as Tracy Turnblad's rebellious friend, Penny Pingleton, in Hairspray. To this day, we still reference Amanda whenever we dive into a cheese plate. My favorite's Gouda. Oh, <laughs> I like Gouda too. See? See what? We're flowing. We're talking about cheese. So what? Flow is flow. Number two, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan was the definition of booked and busy in the 2000s. Okay, will you please tell her that I'm not lucky? 
Well, you were a voted prom queen at Franklin High, so. We went to Jefferson. Starring in an impressive 13 films throughout the decade, Lindsay had a number of successful comedies such as Get a Clue, Just My Luck, and Life Size. The 2003 remake of Disney's Freaky Friday was met with critical and commercial success, receiving an impressive 88% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. You're However, Lindsay catapulted to the A-list with the ever-popular and extremely quotable Mean Girls. Unfortunately, Lindsay's career hit a snag in the late 2000s after she endured a number of controversies, such as arrests and rehabilitation. No matter what, we will still be wearing pink on Wednesdays to celebrate this 2000s icon. Hey guys! <gasps> you, you look, look awesome. awesome! I know, right? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Josh Hutcherson. Before The Hunger Games, Josh Hutcherson was a promising action adventure star. Up ahead. Get ready. They'll catch us. Leslie, we're the fastest in Terramithia. Michael Sarah. Outside of being a meme king, Michael Sarah had a major film career in the 2000s. Stay calm, okay? Let's not lose our heads. It's, it's, it's a fine ID. It'll, it's gonna work. It's passable, okay? This, this isn't terrible. I mean, it's up to you, Fogel. This guy's either gonna think, here's another kid with a fake ID, or here's McLovin, the 25-year-old Hawaiian organ donor. Selena Gomez. This Disney Channel witch conquered both Disney films and more mature roles. You're the new classic, fantastic, man, you all this Corbin Blue. Corbin Blue was a star on and off the Wildcats basketball court. I've got what it takes to my game. So you better spin that pitch you're gonna throw me. Yeah, I'll show you how I swing. Michelle Trachenberg. This former child actor pumped up a number of great teen films in the 2000s. Are you sure it doesn't just make you feel beautiful? So what if it does? What is so horrible about that? about feeling strong and graceful and beautiful for once in my life. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hilary Duff After she burst onto the scene, there was no one who didn't know and love Hilary Duff. The starlet connected with audiences in a way that set a trend for future Disney Channel stars. Up till now, I've been like mellow about this whole having it all lifestyle that you and mom are currently into. A, because Sarah has the drama queen role totally covered, and B, because I've benefited from your salary spike in various shallow but nonetheless pleasing ways. From Cheaper by the Dozen to The Perfect Man, she was pumping out one iconic role after the next. While some films, like A Cinderella Story, may not have had the biggest critical successes, they received largely positive responses among younger crowds. How could I have seen you before and not know who you are now? Maybe you were looking, but you weren't really seeing. While Hillary had many notable films in the 2000s, her most remembered is arguably the theatrical finale of her Disney Channel TV series Lizzie McGuire. Portraying both Lizzie and her Italian doppelganger, Hillary created a timelessly classic teen film that is still popular today. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.